Away Days, Bonzo, 4.4% Blondale. Short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. The sun is over the yard arm and it's fucking boiling. So that means it's time for a beer. And I have got one of these. Now, this is from the Away Days um, Brewing Company, shall I call them? Um, I don't really want to call them a brewery because I'm not sure whether they are or not. Um, they do basically football related beer. Now, what does that mean? Well, I reviewed one of the, their beers um, previously on the channel and it was a tribute to the footballer Paolo Di Canio. If you don't know who Fa Paolo Di Canio is, um, he's a legendary Italian player. He used to play for Lazio, uh, West Ham, um, Sheffield Wednesday, and managed a couple of teams as well. But it was pretty much a West Ham legend and still is and they brought out a beer, this company, um, with West Ham colours on, pretty similar to this, in sort of celebration of him. And I was really disappointed with the beer, it wasn't great at all. And that got me thinking, mm, is this a bit like one of these novelty beers, like like what the bands do, you know what Iron Maiden have done with Trooper, yeah the, the labels look nice and everything and then you go to taste the beer and it's bland or boring or even crap in some cases. I've sort of said I wouldn't go for one of these again, but I see this. This is in tribute to one of the um, the greatest players West Ham have ever had, and that's uh, Billy Bonds. Now, I don't know whether you're into football or not. If you're not, it doesn't bother me. If you support another team, it doesn't bother me. I'll make no bones about it. I'm a West Ham fan. That's the reason I bought this, and I think that's the reason they're bringing these out, because they've sort of tapped into this sort of niche market and I have to say they're one of the only custom um, beer producers because they actually allow you to vote and if you vote for a certain ale and a certain player to get a bottle then they brew it and um, I think that's a good idea but ultimately it is all about the beer so let me stop guessing about this oh by the way before I do I'll just let you know um, these I got this from Beers of Europe the company, I'm assuming, are based near Beers of Europe. They're based in Suffolk. Um, they're, they're Ipswich Town fans. They make no bones about it. That's fair enough. I don't have a problem with that at all. Um, they're, I think, exclusively distributed through Beers of Europe. And this is, where I got, this is where I got this. I tried to get this one last time. Billy Bonds is one of my favourite players from West Ham. And, uh, you know, even if the beer's crap, I had to get the bottle. So now I've got the bottle. Let's get it open and let's see what this is all about. Right, it's a golden ale, it's a 500ml bottle and it's 4.4%. The, the colours of the bottle on the label, I don't know if you can see this or not, I'll try and get some views on that. There's the Away Days logo, West Ham colours on there, Cross Dammers on the sleeves, or well, in that sleeve anyway. And uh, on the back it says Wade's Beer Company celebrates the beautiful game with beautiful beer. Born out of two passions. And that's more or less you're going to get. Oh, hang on, here we go. Um, Bonzo Blondale. Bonzo was Billy Bond's nickname at West Ham if you're interested. Probably not if you're a Millwall fan, but there you go. Um, uh, no player has worn the claret and blue for the Hammers. More than Bonzo, he has. He, he's the record. Um, he has, he holds the record for the most appearances for West Ham. Um, more holds. holds uh, start again. Um, no player has worn the claret blue more t uh, for the Hammers uh, more times than Bonzo. So take your time and enjoy this refreshing blonde ale, remembering a true Hammers legend, Billy Bonds, and he is. He is a West Ham legend. 
Um, ingredients, water, hops, yeast, and malted barley. Um, it's 4.4%. Billy Bonds' number was always number four, so that's fitting. Uh, and they've done it on purpose, I'm assuming, whether it is actually 4%. Ah, here we go. Now, here we're getting down to it. Brewed on site at the Quartz Brewery. Uh, the Quartz Brewery are based in uh, Staffordshire, not Suffolk. So I imagine the fellas that got the idea for this, obviously they're Ipswich Town fans, so they're based in Suffolk, but they've contract brewed that to the Quartz Brewery, who claim to be, they're a microbrewery, and they claim to be one of the most technologically advanced um, microbreweries out there. I don't know. I've not had any of their stuff. If the last lot was anything to go by, I wasn't impressed. So, let's see if this stuff is better than the Paolo Di Canio tribute that they had. Let's get it open. Right, it's a golden ale and it's 4.4%. So, um, it's come out of the fridge, so it is Chilled, bordering on cold. On the nose. Mm, there's a bit of lemon. Lemon citrus. Some, some sort of acidic, some of the less yeasty esters that that's coming from. There's some malt coming through now. A bit of caramel malt. It smells bitter quite bitter so uh, let's get it into the glass and see what's going on see if I can get any more flavors out of it or aromas should I say All right, there's a lot of carbonation on this right the beers in the glass now there's a slight haze on that. I don't know if you can see it. The head has dissipated. There is absolutely nothing on that at all. And on the nose, what am I getting? Not a great deal. It smells sour, which is really, it's, it's off-putting. And um, I'm wondering, no, it's not, is it out of date? No, April to, um, 2021. Um, it doesn't look great, it looks like a cider. Um, there's only one way to find out what it tastes like, it's to get it down the hatch. Wish me luck. And again, not a great beer, which gives me the conclusion that this company away days, and I hate to say it about a British company or some lads who've come up with a good idea, and it is a good idea, I mean, there are plenty of um, football fans who have got, you know, an interesting beer, but it's not good beer, unfortunately. Um, I mean you've only got to look at it there is no head at all there was masses of carbonation the head dissipated quite quickly now I don't mind that in high alcohol beers because you expect that um, with this it was gone in a literally gone in 60 seconds and I'm left with a sort of mildly carbonated hazy golden ale which looks more like a cider than a golden ale no head retention there whatsoever on the palate there's a metallic taste to it and on the back end you're getting 
a bit of biscuit stroke caramel, touch of caramel, but not in a good way. And there's a sour taste to it, it's like, it's like a sourness, metallic, and then as that goes down, biscuit malt, no real body to it. And I'm left thinking I've been stitched up. almost watery it's not good I'm not impressed and half of me thinks they don't like West Ham and they've done it to piss off all the West Ham fans but there's you know with me I love the bottle the bottle's great you can't argue with that and it's, it's my thing it's what I like but the beer is what it's all about and to be honest, that is not great. I don't think so. It's poor. I'm not getting any enjoyment out of it. It's a sour metallic taste, as I say. That's in the mouth, and then you get a little bit of biscuit malt. For me, that's going down the sink. It's not worth it. Sorry, fellas, I know you've got a good idea with this, and you've come up with it, but you really need to be checking this beer before it goes out. I, I know you've got costs, and I know you want to make a profit, and I know you've got to cut some corners with that. That's a given. But that is bad. That does not taste good. So what's the verdict? Pfft, disappointment, that is the verdict. Um, I can hear, I can hear the carbonation in that, and not in a good way. Um, it, there's just nothing, there's no head there, um, no, absolutely no lacing on the glass whatsoever. Um, the aroma is just sourness, a little bit of hop, bitterness, and then in the mouth, it's so disappointing. It doesn't taste nice, it tastes metallic, and it's, I don't know, it's just got a sourness to it. I don't know whether the moody yeast they've used in it or something, and then you get a little bit of biscuit malt and a little touch of caramel in the back end and it, for me it's not worth drinking I'm not enjoying it and for a beer that's got a West Ham badge on as much as I hate doing it this is getting a 1 out of 10 you fellas the away days brewery whoever you, whoever's doing this I know your intentions are good and I know you're football fans and it's fair enough but you really need to fucking sort this beer out you need to go to that brewery when they brew it, you need to taste it. You need to taste what's going in these bottles, these bottles, because I'm not getting any enjoyment out of that, and I'm feeling like I've been tucked up. So you're getting a one out of ten. I'm not going to recommend it. If you like the bottle, and you you know you've got a couple of quid to spare, buy the bottle. If you want to drink it, drink it. But I'm going to. This is going down the sink. Sorry, it's not good beer. And I will always tell you if it's not good beer, and that is not good. So yeah, rent over. And remember, I'm drinking this shit so you don't have to.